All right, hello, welcome to my political life video blog. I'm at Zozo Coffee House right now. Before before it runs out, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, <clears throat> let's get started, shall we? Just finish what you started for for now. Trust about this one. Just remember that um, the White House has been yeah countered Nadlin. Nader, uh, should we say Nadler's, Ralph Nader, Nadler's, uh, you guess it, blunted a, a piece of power, and he demands on Mueller report to claims this, privileged claims about this one, well, guess what, here's your worst nightmare, this is what the White House has been responding to this whole scenario about uh, those no good for nothing House Democratic buffoons tries to obtain further information on this. Oh, here we go. Our special special counsel, Robert Mueller. M Mueller's report when an assert assertion of ex executive, executive pri privilege, privilege just uh, last Monday. Last Monday morning. Now, the Americans... Now the American people wants to see, yeah, Trump, Chairman uh, Jerry Nadler's desperate deploy, desperate deploy to distract about, you guessed it, the president's historical successful. Give me one good reason why. Everybody yeah, it has an agenda and are a booming economy to the economy. Well, that's that's why um, White House Press Secretary. Secretary Sa Sandra Huckabee Sanders says a huge statement, and that's why neither the White House nor General General Bill Attorney General Bill Barr. Just remember that um, Attorney General General Bill Barr tells the whole truth about the Mueller report, and I have no clue whatsoever. Well, guess what? It happens. Because everything else can be lies about G Attorney, Ger Attorney General Barr will not comply on um, <coughs> Ch Chairman uh, Nadler's unlawful and reckless demands. And now, this is a statement on this one uh, about executive privilege. You know, this could be, you know, this could be worse. Because after the talks between the House Judiciary Committee, De De idiotic Democratic buffoons, and the Department of Justice has failed yet again. Strike one! Uh, uh, and you might think it's so smart about, uh, you get, get us, uh, you know, strike a close, disclose deal on Tuesday. Assistant, Assistant uh, Attorney General Stephen Boyd, ha Boyd has sent a letter to the House, Ju House uh, Judiciary, Judiciary uh, C C Chairman Jerry Nadler has a huge warning. Has a huge warning, warning, warning. That uh, says warning. Warning, I warn you. Warning, I, I, I know. Anyways, <laughs> warning about, yeah, here's the, uh, the, the department would ask this white, ask the White House a question to invoke executive privilege. If the committee just moving forward with a contempt of Congress proceeding, proceedings against, yeah, the yeah, Attorney General. Here is um. <clears throat> uh, listen to this about this one, if you if you, for a change, about uh you know Sarah Huckabee Sanders, faced with Chair Chairman Nadler's blanket abuse of power, and of course, at the Attorney General's. Attorney, Attorney General's request. The president has no optional other options than to make 
the pr protective assertion of white privilege. No, 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 not white privilege. Oh, of uh, executive pr privilege. That's what she says in, in her statement. And she has to continue after the citing of the DOJ's multiple efforts to work with the, with the judici Judiciary Committee. It is, uh, it is sad that uh, Chairman Nadler, uh, Chair, uh, Chairman uh, Nadler, is only interested in pandering to the press and pleasing his radical left constituency. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Mr. Nadler, you're in trouble. What would you do? What did you do? I need to know. What did you do? to Attorney General Bill Barr like that. When, when will you do that at a time like this? Don't you think it's so obvious that you try to chastise Attorney General Bill Barr like that? That is dumb and that is stupid. So here, here, here's what you think. Here's, here's what you think I want. I want just listen to... Um, um, Attorney General Bill, Bill uh, uh, just listen to this uh, Chairman Nadler on executive privilege and that is so dumb and stupid um, you might think it's so smart about this one this one take a look and listen to this listen to this consider a report recommending that the House of Representatives this is from C-SPAN a valid subpoena issued by this committee. This is not a step we take lightly. It is the culmination of nearly three months of requests, discussions, and negotiations with the Department of Justice with a complete unredacted report by Special Counsel Mueller into Russian interference in the 2016 election, along with the underlying evidence. We appreciate the fact that the Department responded to the offer we made to them last week met with us yesterday in a last-minute effort to reach an accommodation. We heard the department out, we responded to them in good faith, and after all was said and done, we unfortunately were still unable to reach agreement, we proceeded with our markup today. As I've said before, we remain ready and willing to consider any reasonable offer made by the department even after today's vote. But if the letter I received late last night from the department is any indication, I am concerned that the department is heading in the wrong direction. In response to our latest good faith offer, the department abruptly announced that if we move forward today, we would ask President Trump to invoke what it refers to as a protective assertion of executive privilege on all of the theories and subject to our Okay, okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? This is going to be the worst. What am I missing? Here's the thing. Here's the thing you don't want to know about everything missing. For you, you just you didn't fit the narrative, do you? You didn't fit the narrative because during this morning's this morning's hear, hearings, because you try to contempt a huge resolution by accusing the the Trump administration of mis misapplying the doctrine of uh, 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 what, uh, no? And you're saying that this decision represents a clear escalation es escalation in the Trump's administration what? Um, here's my observation for you. What if Barr and the con Congressional Republicans yes, yes Congressional as Republicans is having objection to release the unreacted unre uh, redacted report and underlying evidence and, and it's all because of you guessed it they contain a con con confidential grand jury information or, or other sensitive information <clears throat> of a DOJ statement during last month and it has to explain every page in this confidential report to give Barr 
on um, uh, uh, on March 22nd, 2019, and it may contain a material protected under federal federal, federal crimination. And it protects. Uh, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. This is a law that protects co 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 confidential grand jury information. And how about this? The application, applicable regulations regarding to what? Serving, uh, you guessed it, a jury secretly are contained in Title Three of the Federal Rules for Crim Criminal Procedure. Now I'm not so sure about this, about the whole incident, because so far the DOJ has been allowed, a, you know, dozens of lawmakers to view a less redacted version of this one, and the grand jury has been inf information about only two on the on that list, and Lindsey Graham, and of course. Of course, Doug Collins took advantage. Seriously, seriously, took advantage of the opportunity that that priorities to bars recent Senate testimony last week, and during recent and more recently, department officials have been re 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 on this original in invitation to Nadler to view the less redacted version. So just, you know, just to make sure that today, today's markup, committee member and, a Repo and Republican Study Com Committee Chairman Mike Johnson has been noted that only six lines, that's what, only, only six lines to tell you this, that the, that the report has been dealing with obstruction are actually still redacted in this whole version. Available to Jerry Nadler. Uh oh. Read the DOJ. And if the full House of Representatives, even eventually finding Barr to be in a contempt of Congress, the resolution just passed, passed again, and Nancy stretched Pelosi. Can then have beg to differ to bar for pressing. Uh, 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 no. And what about contempt of Congress? Is a federal defense that sends a maximum sentence to, uh, uh oh, Lord. <clears throat> now, now, the moral of this whole political life story which will be which I'll be analyze this later on tonight on the blaze radio network I know it's gonna be wordplay Wednesday and give me one good reason why because the house just judicial uh, sherry committee has been voted to hold bar in a contempt of Congress by voting yes that's right uh, right a 20 of 24 and 16 to 16 along party lines and if the Department of Justice spokeswoman Kerry Quebec responds to the contempt vote with a lengthy statement which I'm not gonna read this but we'll better find out what it is on this next on my uh, next political Life video blog, and I'll get it up. Hard issues about this way. Just so you just said that just about this. Well, anyways, uh, to be good, to good. <laughs> I know. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. You know, and you know what that means. That's my political life video blog story. I'm sticking to it. So, uh, I'll get to this a little bit later on my radio show on the Blaze Radio Network later on tonight. And you know why? It pays to be nice to people. Anyways, my campus life video blog continues after this. Stay tuned.